Okay, um, let's address that issue of the Cameroonian um, couple, you know, um, the husband killed the wife and killed himself. And that happened in Ohio, you know, here in the United States. The thing with me don't see for this matter of husband killing wife and wife killing husband and somebody stabbing wife and somebody stabbing husband. I've asked this question before and I'm asking it again. Waiting there inside nursing that every time you hear an African man kill the wife or stab the wife or the wife stabbed him or the wife killed him, the wife is always a nurse. What is in this profession called nursing? I asked before, is it a curse? Or it's just that when you become a nurse, you, you start behaving like a witch. I don't know what happened, but I'm just saying. Why is he always a nurse killing the husband or husband killing the wife that is a nurse? Are there no other professions? Okay, let's go back to the real issue now. My problem right now is, if your marriage is not working, why do you have to kill your spouse? Life must go on. You brought your wife from Cameroon or Nigeria or Ghana or Sierra Leone to the United States and she wants a divorce. Okay. You can't kill yourself. How would they divorce me after I spent that money, after I brought it to the United States? Now you kill your wife, you kill yourself. Who will take off your kids? According to the story that I heard, that the husband brought the wife and kids to the United States and the wife eventually divorced him. And the court system in the United States or abroad, they will always favor the woman and give the whole house to the woman. And he was paying part of the mortgage while the wife was living in the house, having her boyfriend come to the house and even shank was in the house. And the husband, ex-husband, that goes in there to drop the keys off every weekend could not bear it no more, could not take it no more. And he decided to kill the wife and kill himself after he called the police. Now who lose now? Now the children I lose. All because you cannot work things out again. And when he's not working, you want to kill somebody. You can't have him. Nobody will have him. You can't have her. Nobody will have her. We Africans, we don't do too much for abroad now. Abroad is not meant for us to throw away our values and, and, and culture. African women will come to overseas and start misbehaving because they're making little money. African men will come to overseas and start misbehaving. They're not being responsible again. The fault is on both sides. We've lost it all, all because of money that we've come here to see abroad. You could see an Indian woman making $300,000 every year. She's still very, very married. She's still happy with the husband. She still respects the husband. African woman will come to America like this. The moment she graduates as a nurse, start to make $80,000 as a nurse, you're going to disrespect the husband. Any little thing she won't pack out. It's like this nursing thing in the United States that I know. It's like this nursing thing. The women in the nursing field, it's like they advise each other to divorce. It's like when somebody comes to them and say, me and my husband, we are having issues. The first thing they will tell her is, leave, her, leave your husband alone. Pack out of the house. Because you're making how much? $90,000 every year. Are you the first? How much would you even make that's equal to the value that you put in your kids by raising your kids with your husband? Which man out there will raise your kids the way they should be raised? Which woman, woman out there will raise your kids the way they should be raised? Any little thing you people want to pack out of the house because you're making a little change. You see a nurse, a man will bring the wife to the United States. She will start making 90000 every year. Plus over time, she want to kill herself. She doesn't even have time at home to cook. She doesn't even have time for the husband. Yet she want to go out buy expensive car, Mercedes Benz. Because her friends are driving Mercedes Benz. She will not sleep in the house because she's making overtime. 
Husband will talk when you don't respect your husband because you're making money. You see a Chinese woman making too much money, still love the husband. African woman will make small change. Husband not be anything again. The husband is useless now. It's annoying. What is even the issue now? Tell me, what is the issue? Vanity or poverty. You making money more than your husband, and so what? Would you take that money to grave? You will die and you will decay. Your husband will die, he will decay. Everybody living in fear. There was a guy that was supposed to buy insurance, life insurance. And the dude that was selling the life insurance told him to put somebody that is the nest of kin. Only for the guy to look at me and was asking me, who should I put? Your wife now. He's scared to put the wife as the nest of king for his own life insurance. That tells you how people don't even trust their spouse anymore. He had to put his first child because he doesn't even trust the wife. People buy life insurance, they don't even tell their spouse anymore. Because people now, wife, the key husband, husband, the key wife. Marriage is not the marriage we used to know. Everything now is about money. Who has more money? Husband competing with wife, wife competing with husband. Back in the day, they'll tell you, um, uh, I'm having issue with my husband. They'll tell you, go and settle it. Now, people will tell you to leave, to move out of the house. Like I said one time, one man closed from work. Only for him to get home, the, other, the wife is no more there. The wife has moved out. Because she's making little change as a nurse. Is nursing a cause? A lot of women now, because they're working, they don't even want to stay in their husband's house again. A lot of you women making money now. When was the last time you cook for your husband? You go order for food. When was the last time you wash your husband's clothes? When was the last time you sweep the house? Everything now is about money. The kids are the ones suffering it. You as the wife in the house, you don't even have time for your... Even your daughter don't even know what's going on. As a woman, you don't even teach them anything because you're busy chasing money over time. Everything is shattered, scattered in the house. You want to drive the best car so that your friends. Women of nowadays, they attend all parties. You're going to a party, you don't even go with your husband. You're going to an event, you don't go with your husband because you have a crew in your workplace that you people go to parties together. Like some people will say they have work husbands you come back from that party you come home you look at your husband like useless man what is really going on now look at this man killing the wife and himself leaving the keys to who the government the united states government you brought your wife from cameroon he, she wants a divorce or she's not even helping you to pay bills again. Okay, let her be then. A lot of you men will empower your wife and you don't want to empower yourself. You send your wife to school. She has BLC. She has master's. She's going for PhD. You, you're a dropout. Who does that? Stupidity. You empower your wife. Your wife is everything. You, you look handicapped and crippled. Can't you go to school? Is he a cramp to be a nurse? You're a security guard somewhere. You don't have education, but your wife has a master, a master degree in nursing. Now she's tired of you because you are not bringing enough money or you don't earn that respect again. She can't even introduce you to her friends. If you are bringing, if you are bringing a woman from Africa, empower yourself. As you empower her, empower yourself. You suffer. You work over time to send your wife to school. You, you could not go to school. They cost you, they swear for you. Only for you to turn around, nobody can have her. If you don't have her, you kill this woman. It's sad though. African men, open your eyes. Stop living off your wife. Don't send your wife to school to help you pay your mortgage, to help you feed the kids. If she does, if she wants to, fine. If she doesn't want to, that's cool. Not for you to kill her. Enough is enough with all this nursing, nursing, nursing. 
Non, lui, on a des... Nonsense. 